So in today's tutorial, we're just going to be looking at how to add a variation to a product. Now you'll do this, for example, if you're selling a t-shirt and you have different sizes, you have different colors. And let's say, for example, you wanted to price them differently. A variation is the easiest way to accomplish these options. Now let's take a quick look. Now the first thing you're going to do, of course, is log into your website. We're going to go to products. We're going to go to add new. And we're just going to be adding a new product that we're going to be adding the variation to. Now let's say for example, in this case, we're going to be doing a t-shirt. Of course, you're going to be putting in your title, your description and all that good stuff. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, go ahead. That will show you how to add products to your stores. Now, in order to get a variation, the first thing you want to do is change your product data from simple to variable product. Now, the first step is to go to attribute and now you're going to be adding a attribute. Now, attributes are your different options that you're going to be using. For example, your attribute could be a color. Your attribute could be a size. For this tutorial, we're going to be adding two sizes, which is small and large. Go ahead and save that. And the second attribute we'll be adding is color. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using black and white. Now ensure that you click use for variation and go ahead and save. From here, you're going to click variation. And this is where we're going to be adding our different variation. Now for each size, you're going to have two colors. For example, you see me adding the size small and for small, we have two colors available, which is black and white. Now the same goes when you're going to add large. You're going to add two instances of large, which is going to be black and white. Now, after we've added these attributes, we are now going to go ahead and open them up and we're going to make them a little bit more personalized. Now for the black, we're going to add a black shirt and for the white, we're going to add a white shirt and we're also going to put our prices in. And of course, we're going to be doing this for all our attributes. After you're done with that, just go ahead and publish your product. Now that our product is published, let's go ahead and look at it to make sure that it works. Okay, so now let's select our size and our color and let's see if this works. Now that we see that the black works, let's go back to white. And that works perfectly. Now, again, if this has added any value to your life, go ahead and smash that like button. Your support is needed. And again, thank you very much for viewing this tutorial. Have yourself a great day. My name is Respect.